Michael and Robin have been through how many years marriage? You um, better remember. I'll, I'll say 45. Robin might say more like 80, but that's okay. just... Okay. Yep. And, and how, many, how many kids, grandkids? Um, six kids. And now you're putting me on the spot. I think it's about seven and three quarters grandchildren. Yeah. And how many DBSs? Uh, three. Three, yeah. So that's uh, in cricket terms. For Robin, that is. Yeah, yeah. 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 In cricket terms, that's, that's, a, that's, that's some pretty big numbers. And uh, it's good to see that you can still do great things and have a good life living with the condition. And a, a perfect example of that is Robin, a, a, a person that's been diagnosed. W when was she diagnosed? There's an argument over this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry if I bring up... Is there anything, is there anything you, do, you two years. don't... 30 years. 30 years. Is there yeah. anything you two don't argue over? <laughs> no, not much. That's good. That's good to see, Robin. And uh, 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 it was Robin's idea to have a, a, a night at uh, the distillery and for her to invite all of you tonight to enjoy this evening with her. So and I'm sure it's different for everybody. Um, it was more, uh, the original diagnosis was from our GP and he just said, look, I don't know, but I think, and sent us off to, to see a neurologist. And um, he's a very good GP and he was right. So we sort of went, went to see the neurologist and uh, he said, I'm pretty sure uh, that, that Robin has, has Parkinson's, but I'd like you to go and get a second opinion. And, and I think uh, 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 the medicos here will will tell you that Parkinson's in the past and probably even now, it's, it's difficult to get an absolute definite diagnosis because some of the symptoms are, are similar to other diseases. But in any case, so it dawned on us rather than a, a great big bolt of lightning from the blue. Um, and after the original shock, uh, we just got on with it. And, and to be honest with you, I, I don't think Robin really exhibited too many symptoms for um, she had a slight tremor in her right hand for some years. So we, we were very lucky from that point of view. And so as the symptoms um, uh, increased and Robin's condition uh, deteriorated, it, it was a gradual thing which we've, um, which we've just coped with, um, with, a, with an awful lot of help from our children. We're, we're, we're lucky. I think at times we didn't think we're lucky to have six kids, but... Um, we definitely think we're very lucky now to have six kids. Can I, can, can I just ask you um, a question? Um, I know Ed is watching and, and I'm probably going to put him on the spot, but um, the, the way that uh, he said that uh, uh, they thought that Robin had Parkinson's disease is because when she was driving around a roundabout, she just kept driving around the roundabout. It's probably, it's, yeah, I've probably been guilty of that myself. And <laughs> 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 um, I'm not going to argue with him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, look, look, one of the things that yeah, both of you talked about, the positivity, and the one thing that Robin's natural inclination from the time she was born is to be positive. Um, you can ask her sister and um, stubborn and positive, which is a, a good thing. I Look, think I know a little bit about that. <laughs> well, I think, it's, uh, I think it probably goes hand in hand. Look, th look, the one thing that probably because we try to cope by ourselves that we, um, we didn't do early enough and I'd encourage any, anyone, any carer, anyone with Parkinson's is to make sure that they are aware of the services that are out there and the help from the government. And like all, all government services, it can be a bit of a maze trying to get through it. But at the end of it, there is significant uh, help, financial and other. And um, I'd encourage everyone to do that earlier rather than later. Thank you very much. I was going to ask you what advice you would give someone in um, your situation, but I think you've just done it very succinctly. So thank you very much, Michael. Thank you very much, John. And thank you very much, Lawrence. We'll be getting you back with the other mad professors at the end.